Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. I am Patricia Canning. I'm a project coordinator at AC&J in our early learning group. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. We have over 800 participants here today. And if you know that this is the third in, in, in our the third and final part of our, our webinar series, re, reopening childcare. And as you know, if, if you've joined us in the past, they've been pretty informative. So now is the time to get your, your paper and, and pens ready and start ready, get ready to take notes. Today's session, we're going to focus on employer rights and bringing your staff back online. I see in the chat group that there are a, a series of questions starting to, to bubble up. And that is exactly what we're going to be focused on today. Some other housekeeping items. Um, this is this is sort of like the fine print of, of these presentations. We are not the experts. We are bringing you information. We are not here to give you any legal advice. We have experts on our panelists who are able to offer information and that you can follow up with them through their contacts that we will also provide. Um, but just as a fine print, we are we're not offering advice. We are giving you information for our, our 800 or so providers that are on this call today. We're giving you the information in the way that makes sense for your, for your organization. And that is our role, we're happy to do so. Before we get, before I get to the introductions, I just want to, to let you, to just set up the, the day, um, this presentation. We're gonna have about 45 minutes of presentations from our panelists, and then about 15 minutes of question and answer. Um, and as you know, with 800 participants, we will probably not get to every question, but we will try, what we've done in the past is use uh, frequently asked questions um, which we have incorporated with the webinar. So if you go to each webinar, there's a frequently asked questions, um, uh, set of questions that, that, and set of questions and resources for you. So you can use that to, to help uh, provide guidance. Now I'd like to move to our introduction and, to, and introduce our panelists for today's, um, for today's, for, for today's webinar. Um, first off is Dr. Beverly Lynn. CEO of Programs for Parents. It is Beverly's foresight and leadership that has brought this set of webinars and this program to you. Beverly approached AC and J very early on to, uh, to, 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 to create these programs because she understood that many childcare providers were living in uncertainty, had many questions and thoughts about how to even think about opening up uh, reopening their centers. And so with the, the three webinars, we're hoping that it provided you with the valuable information that you, you can then use to determine if it's time for you to open up your center and how best to do so. Um, and this was the, the key about this is that it was done even before the governor announced reopening. And that gave us uh, some time, uh, enough time to get, bring you uh, relevant information. And I hope it is timely and I hope it is relevant. Um, the next, our next panelist is Yaro Willem Cole. She, Yaro is from New, New Jersey Time to Care Coalition. Yaro is the Citizen Action Workplace Justice Program Director, and she will be talking to us from an employer perspective about the, some of the, the paid family leave um, obligations and, and things along those lines. And then finally, we have Amy Vasquez, who is the Director of Legal Content at Employers Association of New Jersey. Um, and Amy will be talking more broadly about the CARES package, the CARES initiatives, and some of the emergency funding for, that employees need to consider. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today, ladies. And Beverly, if you would take over and set the stage for our, our participants today. Thank you. <laughs> 